SpaceX is a leader when it comes to talking about aerospace innovations, the company is looking to get a solid grip on its new Starship rocket. In more ways than one and they're working to develop a fully reusable launch system, capable of returning astronauts to the moon and enabling humans to colonize Mars. SpaceX also envisions a future, where Starship can be an alternative for point-to-point -point travel on Earth. The launch system consists of Starship and the Super Heavy rocket, that'll lift off from Starbase Stage 0. Which is the launch mount and all the ground support equipment, including the 400-foot-tall orbital launch tower, that'll have mechanical arms. The robotic tower will also enable engineers, to stack the 160-foot-tall Starship spacecraft atop, the 230-foot-tall Super Heavy rocket that will propel it to orbit. It is the tallest launch vehicle in the world, taller than the U.S. Statue of Liberty. Starship Super Heavy is also set to become the most powerful rocket ever developed. On Wednesday, October 20, SpaceX teams at Boca Chica Village, installed the Mechazilla arms to the 400-foot-tall orbital launch tower, that will support the Starship launch system's development in the coming year. Local resident, at Labpadre, has cameras documenting SpaceX's Starship development, the featured image is the new set of arms the tower got this week. The tower is equipped with a couple sets of arms designed to grab the giant Super Heavy rocket and Starship, like chopsticks, as they descend down to the launch pad. This technique of recovering spacecraft will enable the company to rapidly reuse the vehicles in under an hour. SpaceX will try to catch largest ever flying object with robot chopsticks, Musk said last month, success is not guaranteed, but excitement is. SpaceX has not released an official render depicting how the booster will be caught yet. An incredible render by at Ersk Space on Twitter shows how SpaceX could catch Starship and Super Heavy with Mechazilla. Musk replied to the render animation, stating it is, pretty close, to how the vehicles will be caught. Booster and arms will move faster. Quick disconnect arm will steady booster for shipmate, Musk said about the video. Star, ship will be caught by Mechazilla too. As with booster, no landing legs. Those are only needed for Moon and Mars until there is local infrastructure, he added. This month's CEO Elon Musk outlined how the firm plans to use a giant arm, dubbed Mechazilla to move its new Starship rocket into position. In the future the arm will also help SpaceX catch the ship after landing, that could help the firm achieve its most ambitious targets, like launching the same Starship three times per day, means it has a chance of achieving its goal of a city on Mars by 2050. It's one of the most ambitious features of a spaceflight project already breaking new ground. The Starship is a fully reusable rocket capable of sending over 100 tons, or 100 people into space at a time. The ship is designed to support all of SpaceX's current missions, while also paving the way for more ambitious plans like a base of the moon or a city on Mars. The underdevelopment vessel could become the tallest at 394 feet in most powerful rocket, at 16 million pounds of liftoff thrust ever to fly. While it's already said to be an impressive visual sight Mechazilla, could make the scene look even more outstanding. Launch towers for rockets are nothing new, NASA explains that the fixed service structure at the Kennedy Space Center's, Launch Pad 39A used for rockets like the SpaceX Falcon 9, and NASA's Space Shuttle. Measures around 347 feet from ground to the top of the lightning mast, it features three swing arms for access to a shuttle placed, on the pad it's ideal for emergency exits for astronauts. Some Musk fans have already created animations of their interpretations, of how it might work, but SpaceX is thinking bigger with the Mechazilla. In December 2020 Musk claimed that the firm planned to use the launch tower's arms, to catch the super heavy booster as it returns to Earth. In January of 2021, Elon Musk announced SpaceX's latest plans to increase the number of flights they can mount by drastically reducing turnaround time. The key to this was a new launch tower that would catch first stage boosters after they return to Earth. This would forego the need to install landing legs on future super heavy boosters and potentially future Starship returning to Earth. Mechazilla is the name most given to the launch tower next to the Starship launch pad. The pad is located at the firm's Starbase facility in Texas, where it aims to host the rocket's first-ever orbital flight later this year. Musk shared this idea in response to a tweet made by an animator, who goes by the Twitter handle Eric X, who asked if his latest render of a Starship landing, next to its launch tower was accurate as usual. 
Musk responded via Twitter saying quote unquote we're going to try to catch the super heavy booster, with the launch tower arm using the grid fins. To take the load, saves mass, and cost of legs and enables immediate repositioning of booster, onto launch mount ready to refly in under an hour. The ground crews at SpaceX's South Texas launch facility near Boca Chica, recently finished stacking the launch tower catching arm. The tower which now stands about 145 meters or 440 feet tall, with the space complete the teams can now undergo the process of outfitting the tower, with hydraulic systems, fuel lines, and other components. That'll convert it into what Musk has affectionately nicknamed, Mechazilla, this was likely a reference to the character Mechagodzilla, from the Godzilla movie franchise. The latest comes again from Eric X, who used the completed tower as the starting point for his latest animation, included on the 20th of October 2021. The animation is captioned for Lundro Maxilla, less than an hour turnaround, and shows a fully operational tower patch, a spent super heavy booster which just returned from deploying a starship to orbit and transferring it to launch stand. Over the last week or so SpaceX has also been hard at work, completing the final section of Launch Tower catching arm. Launch Tower has been outfitted with an interesting appendage, that itself was then fitted with several massive pulleys. That hardware will likely become part of a high-power pulley system, that'll pull the arm carriage up and down, the tower allowing it to grab lift and catch starships and super heavy boosters. So Musk is promising a turnaround time of less than one hour, now and has confirmed that future starships will be, retrievable using the same apparatus and others like it this latter scenario. Is likely to occur if and when starships begin making taking passengers, on point-to-point -point flights between major cities. A service that Musk has promised will be available, once the starship is cleared for commercial flights. However, SpaceX is preparing to conduct its debut orbital test flight, with a fully stacked Starship Super Heavy rocket this year. However, during the first flight attempt they do not plan to catch the booster with a launch tower arm. According to a filing with the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, the Starship orbital test flight will originate from Starbase Texas. SpaceX told the FCC in the filing document, that the orbital Starship will continue on flying between the Florida Straits. The company stacked the launch vehicle for the first during a fit test on August 6. It was unstacked to continue preparing the spacecraft ahead of its pre-flight test campaign. Well talking about Mechazilla, let's hope that Starship's giant orbital arm, will be able to catch and assemble Starship boosters, and super heavy boosters, for quick reuse so what do you think about the Starship giant orbital arm, will it be constructed to conduct its debut orbital test flight, with a fully stacked Starship super heavy rocket this year or not? SpaceX is prepping for its first orbital flight attempt. The company is still pending regulatory approval, from the Federal Aviation Administration to obtain a launch license. The administration is currently working on an environmental assessment of the Starbase launch site, so it is not known when the gigantic rocket will lift off, with its 29 methane-fueled Raptor engines. It will be the first time SpaceX ignites over three Raptors on a single mission. Starship SN20 will be equipped with six Raptors, it already initiated its pre-flight testing campaign. Thanks for watching this video, and it's a super interesting topic if you like this make sure to subscribe. If you have any crazy ideas about what we should cover in next video please comment it below, and we'll see if we can get to it so thanks again for watching and goodbye.